We had a deal agreed at eleven thousand pounds. Yeah. Yeah. We then went on to notice that it's got a gearbox issue. Yeah. Something of the kind. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. A noise. Calvin. There's nothing wrong with it, it's fine. You're being bloody drama queen. Don't trust this guy one bit. Dodgiest bloke ever, I would have sent him off in the recovery truck. I wouldn't buy a bottle of water from that guy. But then Elliot has said, definitely looking forward to the follow-up video on this one. And the total cost from VRS, yeah? With the VAT, shocking. Absolutely shocking. Right, so the uh, Yath Marina Blue M135 that I recently bought from a subscriber of the channel, Ashley, who is um, also a car dealer, so he buys and sells cars. And this car here was a car that he had in stock. He reached out to me to see if I wanted to buy it. It is a very rare colour, they don't exist, they never made them in this colour. So for me, I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'm interested in that car. So he brought it down, uh, we agreed a deal, but at the point of doing the deal, I noticed there was a few issues with it, potentially serious issues. There is a horrible rattle there. Turn it off, okay? Uh, but I thought, you know what, for YouTube it'll be good. He's a subscriber to the channel, so let's just get the car bought and uh, get it to VRS and see what they think to all of these problems. Now, the car has since gone to VRS and on that chair over there, I purposely bought a chair over for, the, for this video because I'm gonna need to be sat down when I, um, when I reveal what that bit of paper is there. That is actually the bill. Yeah, that's the bill from, from VRS, the invoice to pay for some of the problems, some of the problems that we've got with the M1 C5Y. So, Yas Marina M135i. So, what's funny with the car trade is, and I always sort of remind myself of this, is how, where did it start for me? And it started with me because I just like cars. I'm like most of you lot, I just like cars. I enjoy doing a deal. And the obvious thing was obviously to just be a car dealer, yeah? To buy and sell cars and, and try and make a living out of it. Obviously, it's grown a lot since the day I started, but yeah, it's brilliant. And when I get offered cars that um, I like, it is quite, is it a problem? It's not a problem because normally that's where it started. But this car here, when I got offered this car, I'm a big fan of BMW as a brand. I love M135 Vibes. I think they're great cars, for, especially for the money, for the, the, the money that they're worth. And the fact that this car is a, a BMW M color, Yas Marina Blue, I thought, well, this is a proper bit of me. Probably not, is it perfectly fitting as a bit of stock? Do you know what it is? Because it's got good, good low mileage. But then I thought this would probably be a, be a better suited car for Planet of Dreams, yeah? So actually the guy that it came from, I've actually bought an M135i of him before, my white one many, many years ago. I think the plate was N55 RPK. But yeah, that car, loved it. Stage two car in white, three door, black wheels, look really good as well, yeah? So Ashley reached out and he sent me the pictures and I, I said, mate, I really want that car. Let's get a deal done. He had it sold at 15 and a half grand, I think, because he's a car dealer. So he had it sold at retail money, 15 and a half grand, but the customer that was buying it couldn't get insured on it, meaning that they had to unwind the deal. It never happens. He was in a situation where he had to cash in. He needed to pay his builders at his house. He was very honest about his situation in the video. It is a, a, a common, uh, I suppose, hurdle with the car trade is cash flow. Cash flow is a big issue, yeah? It is a big issue because sometimes you get off the cars, you can't afford to buy them. Uh, sometimes you get situations where you need to cash in and buy up stuff, but it is a constant ongoing problem. You're constantly having to juggle things. He came down, we stood here. I had a good look around it. The first thing I was a bit concerned about or skeptical about was the paintwork. I had a good look over the bodywork and do you know what? Is it, have I got the key in my pocket? Credit, I was gonna say credit to, there it is. Credit to whoever painted this car. We don't actually know who's done it, but whoever's done it, they've done a really, really good job. Like, look at it, inside and out. It is, honestly, it's, it's a massive job doing a color change on any car, and whoever's done the color change on this, they've smashed it. Great job, really, really nice job. So that was the first hurdle overcome. I then took it for a drive, and it was wobbling around like mad. And I thought, this car must be categorized. I think whatever's going on with this car on a driving straight, that's a bit alarming, man. So I've done a car vertical check, shout out to them. They are the sponsor of this video. We'll link them in the description below. Make sure you do your car vertical checks uh, because they do find horror stories. They find background history on cars. It's stuff that you wouldn't know through your eyes uh, without doing them checks. So. Um, I've done a check in car vertical. This is where the, <laughs> <laughs> the, horror, <laughs> the horror sound kicks in in the edit. <laughs> uh, um, do you know what? It's all green ticks. It's all good. 
Um, not stolen, obviously. Uh, mileage. What is the mileage, by the way? 56. Let me just start the engine. That is seriously good mileage. Didn't come up with nothing. Didn't show any previous accidents. And I was driving it down the road and I thought, this is weird, man. Why is this car drive? And I drive it, I've driven a lot of M135 eyes. It's probably, it's probably. What the hell is that all about? I obviously met Ashley years ago. I like him, he's a lovely guy. And by the way, I had a look at some comments in that video. Let's go pull the comments up, yeah? Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Don't trust this guy one bit. Dodgiest bloke ever, I would have sent him off in the recovery truck. I reckon he's gonna surprise us all and be a genuine guy. Could happen, mate, could it? This one's getting deleted. It's bloody horrible. Yeah, that's getting removed. I'm not having that. I wouldn't buy a bottle of water from that guy. But then Elliot has said, definitely looking forward to the follow-up video on this one. I think a lot of people are, Elliot. Honestly, some of these comments are brutal. And I read the comments and I've, at, at the point of uploading the video, uh, there's loads more by the way, and I actually deleted some of them. So I thought, you know, they're a bit harsh. I, when I watched the video back, I thought, I didn't feel any of them feelings when I met Ashley, yeah? I didn't feel like this guy's here to stitch me up. I didn't feel like he's a horrible guy. I didn't actually get any negative, bad vibes from him whatsoever. In fact, I just thought, this guy's a lovely guy. He's a proper, proper nice guy. And I respect it that he's got this car up for 15 grand or 15 and a half grand, or whatever the numbers were. And we had talked about, I think, 12 grand, and then I said 11, and then we, after driving it, so I was driving it and I noticed this horrible wobble, really, really horrible, and I just thought, well, because it's been fully resprayed, well, perhaps it had been resprayed because it's been in a bad accident, uh, therefore, this accident had never been fully repaired, and meaning it has it is made it sort of be a horrible thing to drive. That was quite a logical conclusion in my mind, um, but obviously he was just a trader that had it in his hands for a few for a few weeks, so he could never really know that, yeah? Then after we got back, we noticed a subtle rattle from the gearbox. Only I think when you put it in drive, or perhaps when you put it in park, or when you put it in drive, it stops. And I was like, it's just a subtle gearbox noise there. So at that point, that point we'd agreed it at 11,000 pounds, which again, I was like, do you know what, that's so sound, man. From 15 and a half grand, he's taken a massive loss, 11,000 pounds. And I then said, look, this gearbox, it could need a new gearbox. So can we agree 10 and a half grand to a further 500 quid down? We had a deal agreed at 11,000 pounds. Yeah? Yeah. We then went on to notice that it's got a gearbox issue, yeah? Something of the kind, yeah. Possibly, yeah? Possibly, yeah. A noise. So we were then agreed 10 and a half grand, yeah? So we've gone from 15 to 12 to 11 to now 10 and a half grand. And he said, Cal, that's fine. I'm not here to stitch you up. You can have the car for 10 and a half grand. And I then said, if the car has no gearbox issue, the wobbling, that's fine. I'll take that on the chin. You're selling, it, selling me for 11 grand. But at 10 and a half grand, if I discover that this gearbox issue is something that I've just made up in my mind, then um, I'll give you the 500 pound back. Well, I'll tell you what then, I'll double deal on you, right? If it comes back, and we have got the 500 back, we'll give it away on Planet of Dreams then. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> Come on. That that. I think that's a great idea. I love that. Put it on Planet of Dreams, yeah? <laughs> so there might be another 500 quid going on Planet of Dreams. We'll see, yeah? yeah. I then um, had my car event. I then obviously got ill, ended up in bloody hospital. I was off work for a little bit of time. Um, in the meantime, the car went to VRS. I managed to get up to VRS in the process of them looking at the car. Yeah, and briefly filmed a bit. The reason why I haven't filmed there is because there was no opportunity for me to film there. The car came back here in the, in the time that I was off work, okay? But I did manage to go, go and briefly film with Will. And the two issues, of course, the wobbling, yeah? Problem number one. Problem number two is the gearbox. Now, the wobbling, should we talk about the bill now? The bill's just sat on that chair over there, look. We're not, we won't talk about the bill just yet. The wobbling will changed. He done, he done um, wheel alignment, obvious thing to do. He had a good look underneath the car. You can't see any evidence of any crash damage whatsoever. So, which is great, great news, but it does still leave us with a bit of a mystery of why, was, why is it wobbly when you drive it? And it's terrible. So he done a wheel alignment and it slightly sorted it out, but it didn't sort it out completely. So he then done um, bushes. Is that right? Let me just pull up. Put up this invoice without you lot seeing it. Powerflex rear subframe rear bush, Powerflex rear subframe front bush, yeah? 
He then done them, and at that point when he'd done them, we was, uh, that was when I was at VRS, and we said, let's go for a little drive in it. He said, Cal, take the drive, see what you think to it. I said, well, do you know what? It's a lot better. It's actually a lot better. I feel, well, I feel well relieved, this bloody bushes. So he then said, Cal, to get this even better, I would recommend that you replace the rear tyres because it had some budget rear tyres on it. And I said, well, it's going to RRT anyway, so we'll get it to RRT, we'll get the wheels refurbed, and whilst it's there, they do tyres as well, we put some Michelins on it. Are they PS4s? Yes, they are. No, they're PS5. Michelin pilots bought fives, yeah? So we've got them put on, got the wheels refurbed, so the wheels obviously then, then get balanced, which is another prevention, I suppose, to a car not driving correctly or driving straight on the road. Balanced wheels, brand new rear tyres, brand new bushes, and now the car drives spot on. There is still a slut, subtle sort of imbalance, I would say. So just to satisfy my own mind, I took an M135i home. I've got one in stock at the minute. I've always got M135i's in stock at Binka. I took it home last night just to satisfy my own curiosity and it drives exactly the same. So just, just to demonstrate what I mean, I'm currently in the grey M135i. This car's done 81,000 miles. I can't remember the mileage of the blue one, but it's really low. I'll put it on the screen now and I'm on a dual carriageway in Milton Keynes and just as you go over the lanes and this is pretty much like this with every, every car there's, the car kind of look, wobbles a little tiny bit they drive exactly the same so I'm fully satisfied now that that issue is repaired okay problem number one big tick solved yeah problem number two is the gearbox <laughs> the gearbox <laughs> so if there is nothing wrong with this gearbox, we're giving away 500 quid on Planet Dreams um, with thanks to Ashley. If there is something wrong with this gearbox and uh, that, that rattle is um, a problem, it, it's gonna be a big problem, yeah? That's where we're currently at with this situation. A rattle from the gearbox, yeah? But, as I took it to VRS, I was reminded by Will that he said, Cal, do you not remember you brought an M135i to me a few weeks ago, which I think was that also a Planet of Dreams car? Was it a white one? My mind's gone completely blank. What car was that? Yes, it was. It was the cheap M135i. That done exactly the same thing. I was like, yeah, Will, I actually remember now. He said, Cal, there was nothing wrong with that car. Like, that's just what they do. They just they have a, a so little noise. And then the rattle on the gearbox, this car actually does it as well. When you so I'm currently in park, no noise. When I put it in drive, there is a very, very slight sort of juddering rattle there. In fact, it's barely noticeable, but it's definitely there. And all I can put that down to is just, because it's in drive, I've got my foot on the brake, it's trying to go and it's just sort of creating a bit of resistance, which is causing it to rattle. I was like, well, can you just double check? So here's a clip of me and Will in the M135i outside VRS. Put it in park. It's not doing it, is it? It's actually not doing it. Ashley, the owner of this car, will be watching this video. <laughs> and he'll be like, Calv. That's my foot on the brake. I told you there was nothing wrong with that gearbox. It was making a noise when I bought it. But all I can hear is just the normal engine belt noises. I'm gonna put a, sh a clip in of the noise that it was making in that video. Just shut your door. Nah, I think the reason why we couldn't hear it is because the doors were open. It's still doing it. Mm. Isn't it? It's just subtly there. It's like, like you're saying, yeah. And I'd much rather you take the car away and say, ring me up in two weeks time, Cal, you know what, I've got that little issue for mm. it. It was only mm. bloody mm. something for 50 quid mm. and I managed to get 15 grand for the car. Mm. But that would be a better outcome. Yeah, I mean, I, it would probably pay for me to go away and do it and just retail it um, and yeah. get the problems sorted and then you know, retail it. But like, yeah, I don't have the time to be, I need funds sooner rather than later because the build the build go, keeps going on while no, you know what I mean? it's, yeah it's a nightmare it keeps going on you come back and you go yeah there's another build but at the same time i wouldn't want this to no. be 
a negative situation for you. Do you know what I mean? I want it to use, use whatever whatever happens, whether you take it away or you I sell it today, it needs to be a positive situation. Because sure. the heat shields around the box underneath were all kind of loose. They were like that. Is that the noise? Could have been. Did you send me the noise? No. I didn't send you the noise. So basically, the You're deal. You're making it up. I'm making it up. No, the deal is, the deal is, the deal is, <laughs> if, yeah, mm -hmm. we can't find anything wrong with this. Mm -hmm. And meaning I have no bill related to, because I knocked him on the price of the car mm -hmm. because I believed it had a gearbox issue, yeah? Right, oh, okay. And I said, if the Will doesn't find anything wrong with it, mm -hmm. that 500 pound that I knocked him on, mm -hmm. I'm going right. to give it back to him. Yeah. He then said, don't give it back to me, give it away on Planet Dreams. Fair enough. So if there's no issue with this car, which... Well, drive it back, mate, because you've got to do a lot more miles than I've done. Drive it back, make sure there's no issue with it. Mm -hmm. And then when you get back to Binker, um, Amar doesn't turn it off, parks it up, you jump in it, see if it's making a noise. I just don't want to take anything apart to try and find a problem and I can't really... No, see, no, no, it's a waste you know, of time, waste well, of money. Just, you know, the car drives, you know, nice and... Okay. That's fine. That's good. It's a good thing. It means that we're going to give away £500 on Planet Dreams. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, good. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. So the, the... See what it's like when you get back and if it's still good, give some monies away. Yeah, sounds. All right. We call it Ashley's £500. Yeah, yeah, do that, man, because, yeah, like, you know, I'm not going to lie, like, mate, again, big bills, I need the money, but... You know, you've got to be, you've got to be nice and like, you know, you're doing a wonderful thing and I'm always generous, like whatever I do. So if, if, yeah, if it comes back, then cool. everyone's a winner. Do you know what I mean? It's someone else is going Literally, to Literally everyone's a winner. Quid, you're happy, yeah, I'm happy. Win, yeah. The winner's everyone... happy, 500 quid as well, job done. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Wicked. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> so at this point in the video, I'm going to sit down on the chair. Yeah, I'm going to take a seat on this chair. And I'm going to reveal to you the total bill to repair in this car at VRS, yeah? <laughs> Basically, all that we've done on this car is wheel alignment, yeah? The Powerflex rear bushes and front bush, bit of labour, and that is it. Service-wise, it's all up to date. We've obviously done the wheels at RRT. I will link them in the description below if you want to get your wheels refurbed. They are based in Luton, by the way. VRS are based in Northampton. And the total cost from VRS, yeah, with the VAT, was just short of 350 quid. 350 pounds. There is no gearbox issue with this car. It's fine. The gearbox is brilliant. I've driven it loads. Um, in fact, the rattle, I can't even get it to do it now. Like, I don't know why I could get it to do it. I don't know if it was how it was sat on the day. I can't get this car to bloody rattle anymore. I don't know what it was, what it was on that day. But I think the reason for me doing this video is because Ashley is a proper nice guy. I felt that on the day, but I suppose at the point in time of me filming the video before it went off to VRS, none of us knew what was actually wrong with the car, but he sold me the car for £5,000 less than he had the car sold for. He was very, very honest about his situation in that video, and I absolutely rate him for that. Now, in the thumbnail of that video, I put the word trade sale. When you buy a car as a trade sale, well, it's a risk. It's a risk that you take when you're buying a car in a trade, yeah? If you buy a car privately, that's even more risky. It's actually less risky to buy a car as a trade sale than it is a private sale. Because with a private seller, you've got absolutely no hope of getting anywhere. But with a trade sale, you're buying off a trader, he's basically saying to you, this is an unprepared car, I'm selling it to you as it is, and I'm selling it to you at a discounted rate, and it's sold as seen. I took the punt. Car trading is a gamble. Sometimes I, I do sometimes think, should it even be taxed? Sometimes getting taxed for taking punts on things is, seems a bit mad, but that's a completely different subject altogether. But I took the gamble willingly. I willingly took that gamble, and I'm so glad I did because one, it hasn't been a headache whatsoever. It's been a really small bill, 350 quid. And two, we've got, I suppose, three, there's three pluses. Two, we've got a great car for Planet of Dreams, and three, it hasn't cost me £15,000. So I want to thank Ashley, man. I've not even spoke to Ashley. I might speak to him before this video goes live, but, goes live. but if I don't, I want to like publicly thank him in this video because I think what a bloody lovely guy he is. 
Um, credit to him for reaching out. Thank you to him as well, like, for keep coming back to me with business because he's sold me an M135i. We sold his C63 AMG for him, and he's then come back to me uh, with this M135i, and he done the video, which um, I respect people that do videos. I love it when people get on the channel. I think it's great for the channel. And I just rate that he's done all of that, and off the back of it, we've got a bloody good car. So, Ashley, mate, you are on it. I hope that, um, the house is getting sorted. I hope everything's going brilliantly. And I do also hope that some of the people that made them nasty comments just drop a little apology below. Because that'd be cool, man. That'd be proper cool. Oh, there's this little spider. Is that a money spider on my camera? What are the chances of that? Look, you see it? Just my luck, innit? There she is. If we get any bit of macro. A money spider on my camera. What are the chances of that? Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's an Ashley money spider. Maybe Ashley's gonna get some cash. Ashley, when you watch this video, do the lottery, mate, because that could be your money spider, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, uh, toy is done. Um, I didn't even mention, I said it was 350 quid, 350 quid plus whatever I paid for the wheels and the tires. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with the car, all right? Thank you to Ashley, thank you to everyone. I know you lot weren't being horrible, man. You weren't being like horrible kids, because I, I literally never get that on my channel. Everyone is positive, everyone is great. It was just something that I thought that, I want to do a video about this. There had to be a follow-up video regardless to let you lot know where we're at with the car. So I feel like this is a very, very positive outcome to the situation with the M135i, all right? So I'm going to wrap it up, leave it as that. I might do a, uh, a further video on the car. I don't know if there's much more to talk about. I don't think there is. But the bottom line is, if you've not entered for your chance to win this car, it's completely free to enter. Go and enter. You can sign up as Dreamcatcher if you wish. You can also boost now if you wish. Both, both of them options are optional, you don't have to do that, but above everything, just make sure you, you go and enter for free, all right? Guys, I'm gonna say thank you, I'm gonna say goodbye, hit like if you like this video, hit, hit subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one, bye. So now that we know the ending of the story with the M135i, I personally felt like the best ending to the story would be for me to send Ashley 500 pound, which I've just done. So the summary of the story is, Ashley's a wonderful guy, I've bought myself a lovely car for Planet of Dreams. You guys get the chance to win £500 cash for free and also the M135i for free. And Ashley got the original £11,000 they wanted for his car in the first place. The winner of the car will be announced live on the Planet of Dreams Instagram on Friday the 1st of September at 12 o'clock midday. And the winner of the £500 cash will be announced the following Friday again live at midday. So make sure you join us on both of them live streams. The link to the Planet of Dreams Instagram is in the description below. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.